In this video, we're going to see how to take a snow-covered house and add snowflakes to it like this. And then we're going to animate those so that they appear as though they're falling just like this. Now let's get started. Now we're going to put our skills to the test and see how to do an interesting animation for falling snow. So right now what I have is just a photo of a snow-covered landscape and there's a house in it. And I want to have some snowflakes coming down very slowly. So the first thing I want to do is add a layer. And my foreground color is black. So I'm going to grab my paint bucket and just fill this layer black. And from here I'm going to go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. And I want something around the 200% mark. Anything up in that area is fine. It doesn't have to be right on it. I want to do Gaussian and I want to do monochromatic and I'll click OK there. Next I want to go back to filters and go to blur and I'm going to do a Gaussian blur and I want it to be around the 2.0 area and 1.9 is fine. And I'll click OK on that and now I'm going to do a Control L for levels. And I'm doing it like this, Control L or Command L on Mac so that it applies directly onto the layer rather than creating a new layer with levels on it or a mask. Now what I want is to take all of these carrots and move them over to the right side so that they're pretty much huddled together. And that's how we're going to create our snowflakes. So you can see here we're starting to get them. Now right here this kind of looks like a, a star field so it may look like um, you're looking into outer space or something. So if I dial this middle one down a little bit, you can see the stars kind of start going away and we get something more um, closer to what snowflakes might look like. And then I've got this last one over here, that's gonna be fine. But this last one's gonna do intensity, so it might change it brighter. So if I sc scoot this one over, I can get rid of a few more of them flakes. And something like this is probably going to be just fine. And I'll click OK to that. Now what I want to do is add a motion blur so that these kind of look like they're falling or blowing in the wind. So I'll go to Filter, Blur, and then I'm going to go to Motion Blur. And the angle that I want is uh, maybe not this steep, but I'll go with maybe something like uh, this. 67 looks fine. I'll leave 10 on the uh, distance for pixels. And now our flakes kind of have a little bit of blur to them. And from here, what I need to do is create another, uh, basically, image of this. So I'm going to duplicate the pattern. This way, I'll stack it on top of this one vertically. And I'm going to, in the animation, have it scroll down. So that's how we get this, con it looks like maybe a continuous loop is going on during the time that we're, we're animating. Now what I want to do is duplicate this layer. So I'll just drag this into the new layers and create another one just like it. And from here, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so that I can really see my layers because I want to stack them on top of each other basically. So you can see this one, you can see the outline of it is down here and it's pretty much stacked right there. Now what I can do is take these and merge them. So I'm gonna merge layers and now you can see I've got this pretty much continuous uh, set of snowflakes. I'm gonna drag this over a little bit so I take up a little bit more on the edges. And at, you can see now what's gonna happen, this can scroll down and we'll get this snow effect. And there's one more thing I'm going to need to do, and I'm holding my uh, shift key down so that this doesn't uh, uh, get wiggly off to the sides or move over out of the viewing area. So what I need to do is fix our seam where the two images have merged. And that was about right in this area, but if I, I'm looking at it right now, it looks all right. What I would do though, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you, you might get a seam and it, it looks artificial when that happens. You can take your clone tool or the stamp tool and I'm going to apply this transform because I was moving it 
and you can just capture some of the snowflakes below here down below and then just paint in a little bit that way you'll remove any kind of lines and make it look a little bit more natural and smooth so that's fine that should work good now I need to have my snowy house come through in this image and what I can do there is click on my layer of snowflakes and then I'm gonna click screen and there's the house I'm gonna click uh, enable my move tool now if I scroll down you can see the snowflakes are falling so let's go ahead and do the animation for this I'm just gonna raise this up a little bit and I'll position the bottom of this with the bottom of my image and I'm gonna create a video timeline and I'll open up my layer and position and I'll click it start my first keyframe right here pretty much at the zero frame then I'm gonna drag my playhead for three seconds over here and I'm just gonna move this down until we run out and we have run out right there so I need to go back up a little bit and right there is fine and that keyframe is created automatically for me right here and if I go back to the beginning and play the animation so you can see now we get falling snow now you can adjust the speed of this uh, maybe depending on how tall your snowflakes are I might want to do four seconds so I can just take my keyframe and move it to four seconds that's gonna slow everything down so let's see what that looks like so these are slower now and I'll go ahead and stop this and move my endpoint right there and move my playhead right here and make sure that looks fine to the end and it does instead of a movie I'm gonna go ahead and save this as an animated GIF so I'll do uh, first I want to make sure I've got um, a small file size because if this is fairly big it's going to take a while for it to try and save and render everything so I can certainly decrease my resolution and I'll just make this 1000 and that should help once I begin rendering this out now I'll do file save for web and I'm going to choose well I've got gif here which is fine and um, I don't need transparency so that's not selected I'm doing 64 colors and that um, might be a little bit low but you can see our file size here is already uh, 27 megabytes basically and you can do a preview if you want to see what this is going to look like down here's the play controls you can see the snow is falling and it's going through the frames so here we have 120 frames all together and I'll, I'll just stop that and I'll click save and just save here and I have finder right here I can go ahead and open this in a web browser and we can see the animation and there we have it so that is how you can save your very own animated image and you can also use for a website by saving as a GIF, just go to save for web and you can preview it as you're saving and make sure that your animations are all working. If you want to become a Photoshop expert, I've got the perfect course for you and you can get it at a great discount but for only a limited time. So just click here to get started and you can begin immediately.